Good morning and welcome. My name is Elise Nelson Winger and I serve here as Associate Dean of Students and Chaplain. We gather together amidst seasons of change. Cold winds whip across our quad, dry leaves linger atop the snow. All declare autumn's end. But endings always, be get, always bring beginnings. And today we celebrate the beginning of a new season of leadership and vision at Illinois Wesleyan. May the chorus of voices this hope-filled hour inspire renewal among us and build confidence between us. And may these words of W.E.B. Du Bois resound. He writes, the true college will ever have one goal, not to earn meat, but to know the end and aim of that life which meat nourishes. To that ideal, to life together, and to our mission, may we be true. Thank you, Elise. Good morning. I am Tim Zerlong, Chair of the IWU Board of Trustees. On behalf of the Board, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all and thank you for coming. I would like to introduce a few of our special guests today. Terry Renner, Mayor of Bloomington. Chris Coos, Mayor of Normal. Nancy Brady, representing Bill Brady, who's hard at work in Springfield. Tim Gleason, City Manager of Bloomington. Today is a very exciting day and an historic day for Illinois Wesleyan University. In July of this year, we launched our search for Illinois Wesleyan's 20th president. Our expectations were quite high. We sought an individual with a proven track record in higher education that would bring deep understanding of the academy and a real passion for the liberal arts. We recognized the critical importance of strong leadership skills that would rally our community around a vision for success in an increasingly challenging environment for higher education. We also had a strong desire to identify a diverse candidate with the added leadership impact that would provide. Illinois Wesleyan has a strong and rich legacy in providing a broad and truly fascinating college experience. I feel so very fortunate to have attended IWU. This legacy is perhaps best measured by a compelling legion of alumni demonstrating success in all walks of life. What better evidence could there be of the value of a liberal arts education? Today, our newest alumni get off to a great start with the highest starting salaries for graduating seniors of any university in Illinois. While we offer many strengths that fuel our success, we recognize the critical importance of continuous improvement. That will ensure an even better and more attractive educational experience for our students of tomorrow. In this pursuit, we have launched a strategic planning process to address this challenge, and our next president will shape that direction and position the university to remain a standout liberal arts institution. As we begin our presidential transition, as we began our presidential transition, we were thrilled to announce that Dr. Georgia Nugent would serve as our interim president for this academic year. Georgia came to us with an exceptional record. Early in her career, she earned a doctorate from Cornell University and is recognized as a gifted professor and a widely published scholar in the classics. She went on to serve as president of Kenyon College for 10 years and also had the experience as interim president of the College of Worcester in Ohio. She is recognized nationally by the Council of Independent Colleges as a true champion for the liberal arts and continues to have a national impact in her work as a senior fellow of the CIC. When Georgia and I first met in May to discuss the interim role, she made it very clear she would be far more than a caretaker of our university. And in her short tenure, that has become very clear to all within our community. 
Georgia has quickly immersed herself in the workings of Wesleyan. She has demonstrated a very visible commitment to listen to every voice from every constituency and has communicated with candor and transparency. She has created an environment for real conversation, which is the foundation for success in any organization. She has truly embraced the IW community and our community has indeed embraced her. A number of our trustees have received many enthusiastic affirmations of her positive impact. Clearly, Georgia fully defined for us our presidential search criteria. Georgia has also quickly become a true titan. She found the strengths of IWU quite compelling, perhaps best reflected in the highly talented and committed staff we have and an enthusiastic, driven, and diverse student body. She has embraced and already begun to shape our strategy work with great enthusiasm, vision, and a true desire to see it through. All this is important background for you as I announce that our search for our 20th president is now complete. And I want to thank the search committee for their hard work. I am thrilled to say that I could not imagine a better outcome for us. I'm sure this introduction has made our choice very clear. On behalf of our board of trustees, it is my distinct privilege to announce that Illinois Wesleyan University's 20th president is Dr. Georgia Nugent. As we welcome Georgia, please also join me in extending a warm welcome to her husband, Tom Shearer, who has joined us here today. We're so happy to have both of you as part of our community. Tom? I'm sure you're all anxious to hear from the star of the show, but there are a few folks that would like to speak about this momentous occasion. If, jo please join me in welcoming, welcoming my colleague uh, from our Board of Trustees, Dr. Laura Randolph. I'd like to welcome you all today and let you know how thrilled I am to be here speaking, President Nugent. Um, good morning, I'm Laura. Randolph, a proud member of the class of 1992. Uh, when I came to Illinois Wesleyan, I did so with intentions to gain a great liberal arts education and a small faculty to student ratio with the ultimate goal to go to medical school. Not only did I gain an excellent education, but also loyalty and deep devotion to the university that helped to guide me to my ultimate goal to become a physician. It's a proud day for me as an alumna and member of both the Board of Trustees as well as the President's Search Committee that we welcome Dr. Nugent as our first woman president and the 20th president of Illinois Wesleyan University. <laughs> Having already worked with Dr. Nugent over the past three months, she has already displayed valuable insight and a positive outlook for the direction of our university. President Nugent's equal devotion to the university and rich leadership experience in higher education make her a wonderful fit for our university. Uh, in these challenging times of higher education, she will lead our university with the strength and vision and continue to elevate IWU within the liberal arts community. I want to extend a warm, warm welcome to President Nugent and to her husband, Tom, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this very historic occasion. Thank you. Good morning. 
I'm Mary Coleman, a faculty member here at Illinois Wesleyan in the philosophy departments. I'm also a 1991 graduate of Kenyon College. <laughs> so I've been following Dr. Nugent's career since 2003, when she became Kenyon's 18th president. As some of you know, Kenyon is a traditional liberal arts college. So it doesn't have the professional schools and programs that we're fortunate to have here. And like many liberal arts institutions, Kenyon is in an area that's much smaller than Bloomington Normal. In fact, the village of Gambier, where Kenyon is located, has a population of fewer than 2,500 people. That's including the student population. <laughs> and the closest traffic light, at least when I was a student there, was five miles away in the city of Mount Vernon, which itself has a population today of roughly 16,000. Dr. Nugent was president at Kenyon for a decade, from 2003 to 2013. So that means she led the college through the Great Recession, a financially challenging time for almost every institution in higher education. But under her leadership, Kenyon flourished she helped the college to raise $240 million. She helped transform the campus with several new state-of-the-art buildings. She kept the spirits and the optimism of the students, the faculty, and the staff blazing forward through a very difficult time. And she helped improve Kenyon's already strong national reputation. And as someone with a degree from that institution, I couldn't be more grateful for that. <laughs> Moreover, at Kenyon, she was the first woman president. At Worcester, she was the first woman president. At Illinois Wesleyan, she is the first woman president. <laughs> She's truly a trailblazer in academia. These remarkable accomplishments are clear evidence of Dr. Nugent's commitments to academia, to the liberal arts, and now to this campus. I know my faculty colleagues share my tremendous pride and excitement to discover what Illinois Wesleyan can achieve with Dr. Nugent as our 20th president. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Michael Thompson. I'm the chair of the university staff council, and I'm also a member of the search committee. There are a number of traits to describe Georgia that underlie my respect and admiration for her, and those distinguishing qualities are commonly cited by my staff colleagues at the university when asked about their opinions regarding our new president. To share a few of my personal favorites, Georgia possesses unquestionable integrity, exudes positive energy, fosters collaborative decision-making, yet can be decisive when necessary. And perhaps most importantly for staff, Georgia has a genuine concern for others. Of course, these characteristics are common amongst most effective leaders, but I can assure you they are not a given. As for someone who's had an opportunity to follow Georgia's career over the past several years, the evidence is clear that Georgia consistently exemplifies these attributes in a most impressive manner. On behalf of the staff at Illinois Wesleyan University, it is truly an honor to welcome Georgia Nugent as the university's 20th president. Hello, everyone. I'm Wa Chuk and a sophomore nursing major um, at Illinois Wesleyan. And it was my pleasure to um, be the student representative on the Presidential Search Committee. During her time here, President Dr. Nugent had demonstrated her commitment to the student experience at Illinois Wesleyan. We had some great conversations on how she plans to fully immerse herself in our campus life, and I can't wait to see those um, come to life. Her warmth, approachability, and genuine interest in students will allow her to continue to grow um, in building great relationships that will enhance campus life. 
The students are so excited to officially welcome President Dr. Nugent as our president. She will have such a wonderful impact on our future of our university. Thank you. What an incredible testament to Georgia's campus-wide impact on our university this has been. Our collective exci excitement from everyone should be obvious. And now it is my great honor to present the presidential medallion to the 20th president of Illinois Wesleyan University, Dr. Georgia Nugent. Thank you so much. Although I knew this announcement was coming, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Tim, and many thanks to each of you who's spoken here this morning for these incredibly kind words of welcome. And thank you all for, uh, for your welcome, which was so evident. I am humbly moved by the confidence the trustees have placed in me to become the 20th president of Illinois Wesleyan University. I also want to thank my husband, Tom Shearer, who, as you know, is here today. Over 30 years, he has supported me in everything I have wanted to do. And I credit him a bit with this appointment. So let me explain. We often live in separate places. And so we make it a point to speak on the phone every night. Not long after I arrived at Illinois Wesleyan in one of these nightly calls, he said, I don't know if you know this about yourself. <laughs> now, I gather from your response that you realize, I think most, if most of us heard this from our partner, we'd be a little concerned about what was to follow. <laughs> I admit it, I thought, oh, gee, what have I done now? But much to my surprise, what Tom said was, you sound really happy there. And his recognizing how happy I sounded actually influenced me recognizing how happy I felt to be at this university at this time. As you know, I believe Illinois Wesleyan offers an education that is uniquely valuable and effective at this moment. Nothing, in my view, can better prepare a young person for today's complex environment and the changes that will come tomorrow than the marriage of a broad liberal arts background with the opportunity to gain pre-professional skills. That's what we offer. And that's one of the reasons, though just one, that I'm so excited to work with all of you to, adva to advance and to advocate for this kind of education and this university. Some of you have heard me say this before, but I want to propose today a new, totally unofficial motto for IWU, and it's I with you. Now, the I in this is not egotistical. Instead, it's a recognition that to create the community we want and need to be, everyone is important. Everyone is an I. Everyone contributes to what we do here, and everyone matters. So, for example, we couldn't be sitting here and enjoying this event if it weren't for Tripper and Andrea and the Sodexo team, who have set up the room for us and also set up refreshments for afterwards. You couldn't have heard any of us if it weren't for Jay Langhoff and his team as well, 
Um, we wouldn't be here at all. We'd be slipping on snow and ice if it weren't for the physical plant folks. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't accomplish anything in my office without Julie and Sue. I, with you, can be, I hope, a way of reminding ourselves of our values. As a university, we need to have a common sense of purpose that each of us can believe in and can also understand and appreciate our part in achieving that purpose. To be honest, we have work to do. That sense of shared purpose has not always been as strong as it could and should be. And we need to do more to recognize and trust each other's goodwill and contribution to our common work. I sense, and I believe many of you sense as well, that we've already made progress on that path. Yes, we have challenges, many of them shared by other colleges and universities of our type, and some of them unique to us. But as for individuals, so I believe it can be for institutions. Confronting and overcoming challenge can mean that we emerge stronger and better than ever. As I have worked with you over these past few months, I've become more and more confident that we will do just that. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to be a part of Illinois Wesleyan University's bright future. Thank you. Again, what a great day for Illinois Wesleyan. I want to thank you all for attending and hope you have a great rest of your day. For the media, there will be an opportunity for questions and interviews in the Cartwright Room, which is just up the stairs to the back and to the right. And uh, there are refreshments, as Georgia mentioned, in the back, so please feel free to stay and enjoy. Thank you all for coming. Great job. Great job.